Look at this little beauty. It's got 300 cc series on it. It's beauty. Hey, boy. 30 grand. I take it you're not here to reminisce about old times. In a sense, I am. Suppose I'd be imposing to ask for a minute? You're right. Then again, I'm used to cops imposing on my life. So what is it, Johnny? Tickets to the police ball? You got a friend on my payroll that you want to save from a life of corruption? I got a kid in holding. Did a job in a store. What's that got to do with me? This kid respects you. And that's a crime? He respects you. I think he's going to impress you by doing this job and not giving up his friend. That you're going to let him in with your people if he pulls this off. What do you want from me, John? You know who this guy is. Like hell I do. Then you can find out. Just like that? Just give him up? Maybe I can broadcast him on the nightly news. Oops. No one would have to know about it. It'd be in complete confidence. <laughs> you want me to trust in the cops? <laughs> I want you to trust me. You're a cop. I used to be your friend. Oh, so you think I owe you. Is that it? I owe you for what you bastards did to my brother. Your brother was robbing a bank. Well, I remember where 30 rounds were pulled from him, and we couldn't even keep the casket open. no right putting that in the force. He didn't drop his gun. No, he ran. And 20 SWAT guys trained for how many years, and you couldn't shoot him in the leg. To hell with you and your favors. Look, this kid's gonna give up half his life because he thinks you're some kind of hero. Don't make him pay the price because you had to watch your brother die from something you got him involved in. I don't care if you're a goddamn cop. You go out that door now and pray you get out there alive. Because I'm not making any promises. You want to take me out? You do it here, looking me straight in the eye. You don't belong in this neighborhood anymore. You ever get off that subway stop again, you make sure you bring an army.